GTX 3582, which is what I've been running on the Torx Stallion for years. Ah, there it is. Hmm. Is this on? Well, let's go. get my GS300 build done. I've been stacking parts for that for a while. Let's just go ahead and update you on the Super C-Time Stallion. Woo! Ooh, yeah, 512 horsepower, 415 torque, 410 and 334 pounds of torque. But it's good to know this thing can make 500 pretty effortlessly. <laughs> Hey, Don. Don. You ready to help me build this stuff? I'm gonna need your help. I got nobody's help here at home, okay? I need your help. Give me a high five if you want it. Yes, all right, you got that. You handle that, and I'll go sit down for a while. Got it? Don Pierre. Don Pierre, come here. Come here. Don Pierre, come here. Don Pierre. Don Pierre. Don Pierre. Don Pierre. Don. Don Pierre. Oh, you know I'm gonna ask you to work on cars, so you're just gonna straight up ignore me, huh? Dang, that's disrespectful. I see how it is, buddy. All right. Go. That's how you feel? Who are you barking at? What are you following me around for? I didn't bark at nobody. Go be a jerk inside. Go ahead. Uh, anyway, welcome back to Home Wrenchers. All right, so the goal for today, make my garage workable and put a turbo on this thing. Step one, I need to pull the cars out, unbox all this beautiful bin pack, uh, Ranger parts to make my garage sick, and then build it all. We got jack, rolling seat. This is pretty much the most essential thing anybody needs for their home garage. You can't be walking around everywhere. You can't be crawling around everywhere. You just need a chair to scoot around in. Gotta have a workbench, so. I'm gonna go ahead and pull these cars out and start putting this stuff together and hopefully I don't design my garage really shitty. So this is my first time having a garage since moving out here eight years ago for to work at Hoonigan. So um, it'll be nice to put this together and make it nice. I don't wanna give you a tour yet. Let me at least build that stuff out, but all you need to know is The Rock is watching. He's always watching. Got my bin pack work benches all built out. So yeah, yeah, uno, dos, tres. So now I'm just gonna sweep up real quick and then figure out where I'm gonna put all this stuff. Probably gonna put the workbenches over here because it seems like it just makes the most sense with that extra space right there. That table will fit in perfectly with a little extra room and then just figure out where to put all this stuff. That's FD body kit stuff, so it'll all end up on the car. That's GS300 body kit stuff, so that'll end up on the car. FD wheels, tires for my lady's car. There's plenty of room in here, just gotta dial it in. So I'm gonna do that right now. So I finally got all my Ben Pack Ranger benches set up. This side of the garage is looking pretty decent, you know? I just guesstimated on size too, and it just happened to work out perfectly. The garage is finally starting to look like a garage. Hung up some pictures I had of the RX-7. These were taken by J.R. Sang. And then I got one of my favorite pictures ever of the RX-7 taken by Joe Ayala. That's back in my V8 Turbo days. As you can see, your boy straight eating. And the best part about it is my kit stayed on the whole time. Sometimes you gotta send it. That was at Jackson County Motorsports Park in Oregon. One of my favorite tracks to drift. But yes, the garage is finally in working order. I still wanna get a couple more shelves for the back here. One thing at a time, baby steps. And this place will just grow into itself, hopefully. But step one was getting these workbenches all lined up. So that's out of the way. Now I have a place to put all my parts. So like always, I've been hoarding parts for the GS for quite some time. When I started thinking this project up, I wanted to keep it super budget, so that's why we're going NAT. This is an NA2JZGE, which comes in a 
you know, a bunch of different cars in the US. From what I understand, the NA2J VBTI head is one of the best flowing heads that platform has to offer. You stick with that head, and if you wanna either get a GTE block, it's basically a GTE with a nicer head, essentially. So that's later down the line. We're not gonna jump right into that right away, but we're just gonna go NAT and have some fun, make some cool noises, do some nice burnouts, but I wanted to keep it budget. So we started off with the Drift Motion Turbo Kit, which is, this nice manifold comes with a wastegate and a downpipe. And then I just I, I just never cheap out on turbos. I can't do the bad daddy bratty. <laughs> so I went with the Garrett GTX 3582, which is what I've been running on the Torx Stallion for years. It's a turbo I trust, the turbo I know, makes good power, spools real fast. Yeah, so we'll be good with this bad boy. Right now we're going with low power, 350-400, and then later down the line, if I want more power, this thing is fully capable of it, so we're good on turbo. And then I really got out of hand with this Plasma Man Billet Pro Series intake manifold. One thing I absolutely hate about the NA2J is that crossover intake manifold. It's just ugly. So why do that to yourself when you can have something as beautiful as this? Just look at it shine. Whoo! Look at those, look at the, oh, man, that is beautiful. That is beautiful. So I went with the Plasma Man intake manifold just because it looks good. Or people like Daigo Saito run these on their 2Js. So you know they gotta be good. And then I also went with their clamps for the intercooler and all that good stuff. And then their fuel rail also. So this is pretty much a full turbo kit. Last pieces of the puzzle. Got a Koyo Rad and a Plasma Man intercooler. I don't want to pull the plastic off and ruin the fins, so you'll see that one when it's time to go on the car. It's crazy. That doesn't look like a lot of stuff, you know? Uh, turbo kits are pretty basic, all things considered. I placed an order for Dietrichworks injectors, fuel pumps, and uh, they also make lines and fittings and stuff too, so I pretty much ordered my whole fuel system from their catalog, and that should be here sometime next week, so the next episode of this will probably be fuel system. But for now, we're going to try to put as much of this stuff onto that car as possible. The only thing that's gonna slow us down is I've gotta drop the oil pan and then I have to drill a hole for the drain so the turbo can drain it back into the oil pan. First things first, let's try to put as much of this stuff on as possible and get this party started. Really see the vision and really see what we'll need to finish. All right, got the car sky high. First things first, separate the header from the downpipe so that that's out of the way and I don't have to go under the car anymore. I'm gonna do that, drain the fluids and uh, everything else is under the hood, so. I really run it up. Yeah. I'm in the game with the shit. English mother. That oil pan was a pain in the ass to get off. There was just one bolt in the worst place, but I got it. So oil pan's off, I'm pretty much done with the bottom. So now lower the car, take the headers off, put the turbo manifold on, and then assess the situation on whether or not I wanna put the intake manifold on now or later.
A war zone in my head. English, mother... Clean zone with the bread. Do you speak it? I still need some major cleaning. <sighs> it's just a pain in the ass, that's all, yeah. Yeah, that just took me like three hours to get the intake manifold off. I got it though, luckily. I was gonna put everything on today, but it's real dirty. So I'm just gonna spend some time cleaning yeah, it. Might as well. Yeah. Did you get a Dremel? No, I just got the That's, I'm leaving that project. Yeah, I just, <laughs> just another day. <laughs> okay, that's good, that's good. Good luck, man. And there you have it. Got the exhaust manifold off. Got the intake manifold off, which was a pain in the ass but it's off this part specifically these things fitting these things on these lower bolt holes is terrible these all these lower bolts were just a pain to get to because they're like tucked in back here with the starter and then this charcoal canister thing and all kinds of stuff so it took a lot longer than i wanted it to but we got it done so by we i actually mean me this time there's no we here <laughs> Uh, but exhaust manifolds off, intake manifolds off. I don't want to put the pretty stuff in. It doesn't make sense to put all that pretty stuff in until this is clean. This looks messy and trashy, and this car deserves better than that. So on my next home wrenchers, we will be cleaning the engine bay and then slowly but surely putting all of this nice stuff on. Stay tuned, watch everyone else's. Oh yes, and while you're at it, make sure to watch Knuckle Busters. Dan put in a lot of hard work along with the rest of the team, so it's worth the watch. Go enjoy it. All right, before we go, I'm gonna show you guys where the magic happens. Don't mind my cable management, but if you've been paying attention to the main channel, Hoonigan has been live streaming Monday through Friday, 12 to 3 p.m. And this is where I do my live streaming, and this is also where I do my driving practice since your boy ain't getting no seat time right now before i continue don't pierre don't pierre left paw right paw high five i want another high five up up back up back up back up back up back up back up lay down up. There, there it is, there it is, one more time, up, stay, 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 stay. ah, whatever, get it. Anyway, this is where I spent a lot of my time during quarantine, uh, memories, that's Justin Pollock's old machine and uh, V8 turbo torque styling form. I suggest everyone who loves driving invest in some kind of simulator. This makes quarantine a lot easier. So obviously you go to the track. If you're me, you get three to five laps, your car breaks, whatever, you still had fun. If you're anyone else, you get anywhere from 20 plus laps, have a good day. You can't do that every day, you know? And on a simulator, you hop on this bad boy and you can turn a hundred laps if you got time for it. It's pretty insane. It's the Thrustmaster TSXW and then you got the TLCM load cell magnetic pedals and then their pro shifter and the Thrustmaster X Sparco collaboration handbrake feels real nice if you love driving on any level do it it's the best this is uh this is where the magic happens this is where I live stream daily on Hoonigan and I also do some twitch live streaming twitch.tv slash hurt life if you enjoy watching Twitch content, I play a lot of Assetto Corsa and uh, some other random games. Then we have my shrine over here. So this is where I come to worship the Twerk Stallion. The twerk Stallion made it on the cover of Super Street. Dax with the bangers. And then of course, Larry Chen with the bangers. Shout out to Super Street for making that happen. Shout out to Sam Du and the gang over there. But this plaque is just so cool. This is where I worship Kakawa. It's my little shrine. This was a gift from Kakao. <laughs> he loves me. He knows I love Goku, so he... <laughs> he got me this board. <laughs> anyway, and then we got some banners. The boys final bout. Next level drift. Uh, the homies in Poland. We got the faux twerk stallion. And another RC car. I need to spend more time with those. Dang, that was fast. You crushed that thing? 
we just moved into the spot uh, like two months ago, so I'm slowly, slowly getting this room where I want it. So yeah, that's a quick look inside where the magic happens, where I do the live stream. Say bye. Hey. 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 Say bye. Say bye.